Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel. I am Mrs. Preciello Amordino Tarte, your teacher guide to this Mathematics 9, Quarter 3, Weeks 3 and 4. So for Week 3, Trapezoids. Let us recall that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides of the trapezoids are the bases, and the, no, and the two non-parallel sides are the legs. The two angles that include the base are called the base angles. Every trapezoid has two pairs of base angles if the legs of the trapezoid are congruent, then the trapezoid is isosceles. So these are the parallel sides, segment AD and segment BC. And the two non-parallel sides are segment AB and segment DC. The diagonals are segment AC and segment DB. This is trapezoid A, D, C, B, or you can call this as sig trapezoid A, B, C, D, but never A, C, B, D. Remember, in naming a trapezoid, the order is very important. The base angle of an isosceles trapezoids are congruent. So these are the base angle angle B and angle C. They are congruent. Another, angle A and angle D. They are congruent. Base angles, angle C and angle B and angle D and angle D. We also have pairs of diagonals, segment AC and segment BD. So this is trapezoid A, D, C, B. The median of a trapezoid is parallel to the bases, and its length is equal to half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So the segment EF is called median, or segment FE. So to find the median, our formula is one half. One half the measure of the sum of segment AD and segment BC. Remember that the sum of the measures of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. We have your example. Find the length of the line segment joining the midpoints of the non-parallel sides of a trapezoid. If the lengths of the bases are 6 and 10. So we have here the solution. To find the median that is equal to 1 half, you add the bases 6 and 10 because these are the bases. The length of the bases 6 and 10, 6 plus 10 equals 16. 1 half of 16 is 8, so the median is 8. Another trapezoid whose length of the bases are 8 and 5. To find the median, we have 1 half of the sum of 8 and 5. That is equal to 13. Half of 13 is 6.5. So that is how to solve median. Another number 2 example. In the isosceles trapezoid in figure 1, we have here figure 1, this is figure 1. Angle B is equal to 3x plus 40. And angle C is equal to x plus 60. Find angle A or angle D. So we have here the solution. Since angle B is congruent to angle C, and the measure of angle B is equal to the measure of angle C, Angle B is congruent to angle C, and the measure of angle B is equal to the measure of angle C. 
3x plus 40 is equal to, so this is now your angle B, 3x plus 40, and that is equal to x plus 60. Okay, to solve for x, we have just collect like terms, so transpose write all x to the left to the left then a constant number to the right so we have 3x transpose positive x to the left so we have 3x minus x and that becomes 2x so this 40 transpose this to the right so 60 minus since this is positive so this becomes negative 60 minus 40 that is equal to 20 so 2x equals 20 Okay, divide both sides by 2, so x now equals 10. So the mixture of angle B is equal to 3x plus 40. Since the mixture of angle B is 3x plus 40, so that is equal to 3. We're going to substitute the value of x, which is 10. So 3 times 10 plus 40. So 3 times 10, 30 plus 40, that is equal to 70. That is the measure of angle B. The measure of angle B plus the measure of angle A is equal to 360 degrees. Since angle B is 70, so you write 70. And the measure of angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 70. So the measure of angle A is equal to 110 degrees. So for the assessment, given the figure at the right, they're going to name the following. The bases. So name the lower base and the upper base. Then median. Also name the median and the base angle. Find the length of the lines number for number two. Find the length of the line segment joining the midpoints of the non-parallel sides of the trapezoid. If the lengths of the bases are, so we have A, 20 and A, P, 23 and 16, and C, 9 and 13. So, for number 3, if the measure of angle A is 2x minus 30 and angle the measure of angle B is 3x times the quantity of x minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 20 minus 10. What is the measure of angle D? So next is week, week four, the kite. What is a kite? A kite is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of adjacent congruent sides. Just like other quadrilaterals, a kite also has properties of its own. In a kite, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So this is kite B, D, B, D, C, E. Remember, the order is very important. Or you can call this as kite E, B, E, C, D or E, C, E. D, P, that is chi. The diagonals BC, so we have here BC, forms two congruent triangles. So this one, triangle BDC, congruent to triangle BEC. Each with base BC. And length of length diagonal 2. And an altitude of length one, one half of D1. Hence, the area of the kite is given by the area is equal to one half of D1 times D2. Therefore, the area of the kite with diagonals D1 and D2 is given by the area is equal to one half of d1 times d2 example the diagonals of a kite have lengths of 13 cm and 9 cm find the area of the kite so this is 
kite m n o p the length the the diagonals have lengths of 13 cm and 9 cm so this is 13 and this is 9 Find the area of a kite. So using the formula, we have area equals one half d1 times d2 or diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. And that is equal to a equals one half 13 times 9. Money lengths are diagonals. So multiply this one, the answer, the product is 117. One half of that is 58.5 cm squared. For number 2, Given kite M N O P. If M P this one and P is equal to 2.5 cm and M O this one M O is equal to 4.5 cm. Find the area of the kite M N O P. So to solve for the area, so we have area solution. We have the solution here for number one and then solution for number two. So the area of the kite MNOP is equal to one half. Just follow the formula. It's the formula to solve for the area of the kite. So one half is equal to D1 is NP. NP, the, the length, the segment NP times segment MO. So 2.5 times 4.5. The product is 11.5. Divided by 2, that is 5.625 cm squared. For letter B, Area equals one half d1 times d2. So the area of the kite is equal to one half of n p times m o. So that is equal to 25. Given the area, the area find the area of n m n o p is 25 cm squared. So the area given the area is 27. If you write area here. And that is equal to one half NP. NP here, find NP times MO. So MO is 4.5 times MP. So divide both sides by 4.5. So we have 4.5 cancel. So NP is equal to 4.5 divided by 4.5. 5.4 divided by over 4.5. Next, for the assessment, you just answer this one. Number one, find the area of the kite ADCB. So this is kite ADCB. Look at the figure at the right. AC, if AC equals 12 cm, this one, if this is 12 and BD is 7 cm, find the area. For number two, AC is 18 and BD is 9. So, so solve for the area. Just use the formula. For number 3, find the area of a kite. 154 cm squared. 154 meters squared. If the length of the shorter diagonal is 14 meters squared. What is the length of the longer diag diagonals AC and BD? So that is your assessment. So you are going to answer one, two, three. Again, thank you for watching. God bless us all.